Breathing secondhand smoke can stunt my growth. Give me ear infection, asthma, lung infection, and cancer. Please, don't smoke when I'm around. Globally, 600,000 people die each year because of secondhand smoke. 28% of these deaths are children. There's no safe level of exposure to secondhand smoke. Indoor environments should be 100% smoke free to significantly reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases and cancer. Malaysia, as with 176 other countries, is a party to the World Health Organization Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, WHO FCTC, which was forged to curb the global tobacco epidemic. Action should be taken to protect everyone from the dangers of secondhand smoke. Understandably, the road to smoke-free air is not going to be easy. Despite efforts of the Malaysian government, especially the health ministry, to institute stronger regulations on tobacco control, millions are still exposed to secondhand smoke each day. At the workplace, 4 in 10 adults who worked indoors, 2.3 million adults, were exposed to tobacco smoke. At home, 4 in 10 adults, 7.6 million adults, were exposed to tobacco smoke. In restaurants, 7 in 10 adults, 8.6 million adults who visited the premise were exposed to tobacco smoke. Tobacco is detrimental to public health and also to the national economy. Among others, increasing numbers of morbidity and mortality attributed to tobacco smoke place a heavy burden on the healthcare system. Reduce productivity because of absenteeism due to illnesses resulting from exposure to tobacco smoke leads to a loss of productivity. Nonetheless, there is hope for Malaysia to achieve smoke-free status in the future. It appears there is growing public support for a smoke-free environment. Findings from the Global Adult Tobacco Survey Malaysia 2011 revealed that over 78% of the local population support total smoking bans, that is 90.4% for workplaces, 83.5% for restaurants, 78.7% for hotels, 85.2% for public transport terminals and 94.4% for shopping centres. Malacca, under the Smoke-Free Malacca program, five areas in Malacca State have been gazetted as smoke-free zones since 2011. This is a proven example that the nation of a 100% smoke-free environment can be achieved and implemented. Indeed, it has set a precedent for other states to follow suit. Meanwhile in Penang, Six recreational areas have been gazetted smoke-free under the Penang Smoke-Free Program. ASEAN countries are also moving towards smoke-free. The initiatives of smoke-free heritage sites are becoming popular in Southeast Asia. In Vietnam, Halong Bay, in Indonesia, Borobudur Temple. In the People's Democratic Republic of Lao, Luang Prabang. In Philippines, Baroque Churches. In Thailand, Ayutthaya and Sukhothai. In Cambodia, Angkor Wat. In Malaysia, Malacca and Penang soon to follow. Internationally, public support for bans on indoor smoking is high. For example, in Ireland and the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, 
Public support for smoke-free environments increased after smoke-free legislation was enacted. In the Western Pacific, GATS shows that most adults support smoking bans in public settings, and it is estimated that 88% of youths favor bans on indoor smoking. Undoubtedly, civil society is going to be the key mover for spreading awareness on the importance of smoke-free air and to push for stronger legislations. The Blue Ribbon Campaign is a nationwide effort to support the Ministry of Health's determination of protecting the rights of the majority and to save lives from threats of secondhand smoke. The Blue Ribbon is chosen as the culturally accepted meaningful symbol along with the tagline, My Right to Clean Air. The Blue Ribbon Campaign is a public recognition of partners in civil society who have contributed greatly to advocacy for protection against secondhand smoke. The objectives of the campaign are to raise awareness about the harm of secondhand smoke and the right to clean air, to empower and recognize individuals, groups, institutions, communities, government agencies and other stakeholders to continue to change social norms, advocate an establishment of smoke-free environments. To engage civil society to advocate for comprehensive implementation of smoke-free policy, Malaysian Health Promotion Board or in short, My Sehat, is proudly calling all individuals, civil societies, organizations, the public or private sector for their contribution towards society and the nation. There are three categories of award, the Blue Ribbon Certificate for any premise or establishment that promotes a smoke-free environment. The Blue Ribbon Media Award, open for print, electronic media and new media. And finally, the Blue Ribbon Outstanding Achievement, the most prestigious award of all. The Outstanding Achievement for Advocating 100% Smoke-Free Environment. To implement the Blue Ribbon campaign, MySehat provides technical support to all potential stakeholders. Blue Ribbon campaign is envisioned to communicate social solidarity for smoke-free environments. Ministry of Health, together with members of society, working as one, it is only a matter of time before we can achieve our shared goal of a 100% smoke-free environment.